Hello, YouTube. How you doing tonight? Oh, subject to this vlog, an example of self-important people. Uh, well, a while back I had an issue with a co-worker, and it was a bad issue because I couldn't trust him. He lied constantly <coughs> and uh, he just thought he was better than everybody else bar none like if you existed he was better than you that's basically him now having said that I had an issue with him where he wouldn't listen to me at all. Nothing I said made a difference. I tried to be friendly towards him. All that good stuff. And he basically wouldn't have any of it. And when I caught him out on a lie, he tried to turn it around on me. Like, it was my fault. Alright, and he actually uh, threatened me, saying that he was recording me without my notice, or without my knowledge, via voice. And I said, you do know that what you're doing right there, by threatening me with that, is considered blackmail. He says, I'm not threatening you, I'm not threatening you. And then a little while later, or I should say a few months later at this point, uh, I get the same thing from him. So I take it up with management. I let management know what he's been doing. And uh, a week or two after this occurrence, he quits saying that everybody was treating him like shit. Well, his wife still works at the fuel center. And, uh, we get along fairly well, but me and him, we just didn't. But me and his wife do. And now, he leaves uh, the fuel center and starts work at an auto sales lot. A car lot. And apparently he's doing well for himself. He's quote unquote outselling everybody as per him. This is what he told another co-worker who is actually friends with him. Now, his wife told me that he left the lot because everybody there was dicks. They were being dicks to him. So now he's working at a Walmart. Now, my issue with him and not being able to trust him actually started when he told me that up in another town in a different part of the state he actually owned property, owned his own home, it was paid off, all that good stuff and it was a better area than we're in than I live in right now and I'm like alright I can see that, I believe you you were a successful car salesman, and you owned your own property. I believe it. You're fairly young, but I still believe it. Now, having said that, my thought process is going okay. Now, what happened? Or why aren't you still up there with your property and... Uh, your house and all that. And he says, oh, I sold it. And that right there started ringing alarm bells. Why the fuck did you move to this little podunk town 
if you owned your own property, all you had to pay on it was taxes and insurance, you owned your own home, you were a successful car salesman, why the hell did you move down here? So my bullshit meter started going off. And then on numerous other occasions, I started catching him in other lies. Things that could not possibly be true. All right. <coughs> so he lost all respect for me. Because if it's one thing I cannot abide, it's a lie. When you bald face lie to my face, that pisses me off. And we've got another one out in the fuel center that's doing a very similar thing. He's leaving the fuel center because he says nobody likes him. Everybody treats him like shit. And I was looking at his job performance not the actual documented job performance, but just observing him as he works. When and if he works. <sighs> because he has a tendency to follow other people around like a lost puppy. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'd much appreciate it. Ride safe, my brothers. Ciao.